Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about creating custom stores in Svelte. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in the previous episodes, we covered stores, but we were directly modifying the store value, just like here. So we were setting the value inside of these components. And there's only three components, so it's easy to track, but in bigger applications, it's not gonna be this easy. And we can really easily just accidentally set a new value, something like this, and it might go unnoticed. So how do we change this and how do we make this better and more usable in bigger applications? And that is custom stores. So what we can do is we're gonna create a function called create store. And what this is going to do is basically create a store that then we can use in these components itself. So what do I mean by that? Well, what we're gonna to wanna to do is return some sort of object, right? We're gonna to wanna to return some sort of object that looks like this. We're gonna have like an add function, uh, a subtract function, you know, a zero function, something like that. We wanna be able to return this and then call this inside of these so we don't actually have to pass values on. So to do that, what we're gonna to wanna to do is actually creates um, a store that can do that. So to do that, we're gonna need to get access to the get, the set, um, and the update method. So we're gonna import set, updates, and subscribe, right? And we're gonna do equals um, writable, and we're gonna give it a default value of zero. So kind of like up here, how we export this object, which contains these, instead, we're just gonna export this entire thing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna return the subscribe value because we still wanna be able to do this where we can do subscriptions like this dynamically. And then we're gonna wanna create a couple of different functions. For example, an add function, right? Which will then call um, update with the previous value. So it will have value. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do val um, plus equals one. So this is our add function. We're also gonna create a subtract function, right? Subtract function is gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna be a minus equals. And reset is going to be even easier because what we're gonna do is just call um, set, and we're gonna set the value to zero. So just like that, we've now created a function which will return an object that has these three properties on them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do exports um, const, and we're gonna call it counts, right? And it's gonna be equal to this create store function. So inside of this counts object that we'll be exporting, we'll have access to all of these op properties. So I'm gonna get rid of this count value and inside of our app, we're gonna have to change this to count. And over here, we can just call counts just like before. You can see by using this, um, we actually have access to it like before. And then that is it for our app.svelte. Inside of add.svelte, again, we're gonna get rid of count val and I'm also gonna get rid of this add function. And instead, on click, we're just gonna do counts dots, and you can see we have add, reset, subscribe, and subtract. And we're just gonna do count.add. And that fixed it. Next, we are gonna do the same thing inside of the subtract. Instead of calling that, we are going to call counts.subtract, right? And in zero, we're gonna call count.resets. And just like that, we will now have the same thing. It'll look, you know, a little bit cleaner. And we also aren't directly modifying the values. Before, if we wanted to add a number, we had to call the plus equals, you know, the update function inside of this component. And let me actually show you that this works, where we can click plus, we can reset it, we can click minus and reset it, and we're not directly modifying the values like we were before. Instead, we're creating our own store that internally manages state and all of that, 
button here, we're able to, you know, just return the functions that update the state. But you can't pass any values into these functions, which is great. Um, so yeah, that is custom stores in TypeScript and Svelte. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.